And Mercedes, I have a question for you. Do you hold any world records? No, Emily, I don't. <laughs> I don't, Emily. Don't do worry. you? No, no, I do not either. But there is somebody in-house who does. And she is a Buffalo native, Yay. Shamika Campbell. Thank you so much for Hi. being with us. And we just have to Thanks say, Shamika's only me. in town for a day, and she said, Yes, I'll come and yes. stay with you and Emily. So thank you. you. Me. Yeah, thank you for having me. Oh Happy gosh. to be here for Shemika, sure. Shamika, you come from a very talented family. I mean, I feel like we should start because we're moms and we like to give, you know, mom a little bit of props for raising <laughs> awesome kids. And I know Always. you love to show your mom love. So uh, tell us about this. Well, um, I'm originally from Trinidad and Tobago, mm -hmm. as most of Buffalo knows. <laughs> um, so I grew up performing with my mom and our family band. Caribbean extravaganza and yeah it's been a blast it's been a journey um, starting my career at such a young age at the age of 14 performing you know all over the Buffalo area touring doing NBA halftime shows with my mom eventually mm -hmm. doing different TV shows <laughs> oh my gosh oh my gosh you're adorable <laughs> So, yes. how young, what's your youngest memory? Like, how old were you, and what's the youngest memory doing, like, performing? Um, eight. Eight years old was when I, there's literally a video of me limboing, dancing, you know, and, and stomping off stage because I was, I was upset about not winning the mm -hmm. limbo contest, but I couldn't win. My mom is in the band, like, there's, you know, like, <laughs> yeah, you thought you it would have made sense for me to win. Mm -hmm. But, um, yeah, that's, like, my earliest memory of doing the limbo contest after my mom and the rest of the band will, not the rest of the band, but the other two members of the band will do their full limbo performance with the five and the, all that good stuff. Oh, so, like, that is exciting. Yeah, that was my moment to shine. <laughs> Aren't you loving this? We're Literally, we my have, moment to shine. Yeah, we have eight-year-olds. So mm -hmm. it's so Aww. funny because I'm like, okay, maybe we should get them uh, yeah. started. Go on. see Shamika. <laughs> You see, limbo lessons. Yeah. You're an inspiration. That yeah. is really Thank great so to much. hear. Do you have like a specific memory in your performing? Um, because you've been doing this for how many years now? 16. Do you have a very specific memory that you say this is my best achievement? Because you have so many achievements. Just run folks um, through it so you can explain how big a deal you are. I mean, I love it. I mean, really, it was from the very beginning, I, I set a goal to set a world record. Yes. I needed to set a Guinness World Record. And yeah, like working towards that and really having that goal and being able to accomplish that goal was was like it was very um inspiring yeah. to myself so it was like okay now okay you got one record why not another one mm -hmm. and then so why not another one would mm -hmm. you say that you know? first world so. record was the biggest for you or was it is it just every time you beat another world record ah, i want to say that was the least complicated record oh really yes oh, because wow. my second record is for the furthest distance in the limbo position limboing under 12 inch bars okay Ooh. and that was for 10 feet and then my third guinness world record is for limboing under two vehicles so oh. like the lowest one that was wow. like as i said the the least complicated record out of out of all three of are the you records. always still like, pushing your wait a minute <laughs> i'm like i'm still like wait a minute i gotta process this yes. <laughs> It's, it's you, do you make it harder and harder for yourself? I don't understand. That's the goal. Oh. Every time. <laughs> I'm always thinking, like, maybe it's my training, too. Like, my Uncle Bob, yep. who's yeah. my limbo trainer, he's always like, okay, yeah, you could do that, but can you do this? Yeah. And then as soon as I do that, it's, oh, no, nah, that's all right, but can you do this? So you have people <laughs> challenging all you. All the time. Really, my Uncle Bob. Mm -hmm. That's, like, Props like, Uncle yeah, Bob. Uncle Bob. Like, he's, he's the one that really, like, like set out goals for me to accomplish. Like as soon as I uh, did one, it was like okay. As soon as I set my first Guinness World Record, it was like okay, next. So, so this next is a goal. really good lesson for all of the young people out there watching. Yeah. Right to set goals. If you for were sure. to give them any advice, what would you say to from from where you are now? Yeah. Just think back. What would you say? I am where I am now because I did or I had. What yeah. would you say? Stuck with it. Yeah. That is that is like the main thing. It's so easy to like get bored of something and mm. to just like give up on it. Like so, it's it's very easy to do that. But to stay dedicated, to stay committed, to stay, you know, persistent in doing something is especially something that's hard. Yeah. Because who's mm. limboing? I mean, really. I mean, especially 16 years ago when I'm in school, no one is limboing. No one hardly even knows what that is. Right. Mm -hmm. Far less for like you know taking classes and being able to relate to what I do. Yeah. Um, 
So, so yeah. Tell us about your training. What do you do to stay limber for limbo? Like, what do you do? Because I think a lot of people don't understand. This is so hard. Mm -hmm. I mean, the body, the muscles that you're using, how do you do, I guess, what is training for limbo? Yeah. Um, well, it was pretty much developed over time, over the years. My Uncle Bob, once again, <laughs> um, pretty much watched me try like trial and error kind of thing yeah. okay do this okay and from the results of me doing that he now knows different exercises to now create for mm. me to be able to better myself and you know do a lot more conditioning and just build that strength look over at the you years. girl yes so. you've been on oh some amazing shows america's this got in hong kong actually yeah oh my god and we're going to talk about all your travels when we come back yeah yes. right and you <laughs> maybe can teach to. us a couple skills a couple bench you can be our uncle bob <laughs> what, she just did is what I can do. <laughs> I don't I was going to say I'm so excited for this, but I'm a little intrigued and a little scared. So we're going to come back with Shamika Campbell in just a bit. You're watching AM Buffalo and we're going to be limboing after the break, maybe. So stay with us. Maybe. That's a big maybe. That's a huge maybe. Yeah. Welcome back to AM Buffalo. All right. So we just have to say that we are now standing. Yes. Um, we have gotten rid of the chairs because mm -hmm. this is now the portion of the show where we try something a little different. And I'm very afraid. Yes, <laughs> just, just a little bit, just a little bit. But we have a professional, a world record breaker in the house yes. to, to just give us a little bit of her uh, knowledge and expertise. But before we get there, this is how you know how amazing she is. Mm -hmm. Let's go back in time a little bit and tell mm -hmm. folks all the crazy places you've been <laughs> yes, doing please. limbo. Um, well, I started on Regis and Kelly when mm -hmm. I set my first Guinness World Record and that mm -hmm. was, that was like the, the, the jumping off the, point. Yes, like that was, <laughs> yeah, the, the excitement to it all. So from there, I did America's Got Talent. Mm -hmm. I was on Amer uh, America's Got Talent three times. Oh, um, I did season six, season 12, and America's Got Talent Extreme, which is where all the fire and look stuff came in. Look at you on in. Ellen. You look yes. so how old were you when you were on Ellen? Oh, uh, I was, oh my God, maybe like 22, 23-ish. Yes. So oh you, you've you been doing this and you've been, in, you, just, you love it, don't you? I absolutely do. Oh my gosh. Everything about it, the travels, the meeting people, the sharing my talent and my yeah. story. And, and most recent, yes. I saw you with Usher. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Oh, so, I'm so jealous right now. That <laughs> was <laughs> so Vegas. Yeah. It was like, an experience of a lifetime. Yeah. I, I got to perform for such an epic entertainer. Mm -hmm. And it was it was so much pressure, but he himself was so like into the performance and like so like I felt his support, mm -hmm. you know, through it because he's like pour in and like <laughs> you're about to go under that? Yeah. <laughs> How? Well, How? Well you're doing all that. <laughs> Can you wait a minute? We need to set this average, Emily, before we yes, try yes, this. Yes, yes, yes. Average? Can you show us the average? Where people start to struggle? Yes, where yes. people start to struggle. The struggle point is about here-ish. Oh my. Around this height is where you, you start to so quiver let's a just little say bit. I'm above average. <laughs> you're above average. I'm yes. above average. You're not below. You can, you, you can go he, up here a little bit, but yeah. I'm uh, noticing as also that you're taller than us. So height <laughs> is a factor, correct? Yes. Um, um no. No. It's not. It's like not. I, for me, I didn't really notice how limbo, thank you. <laughs> I didn't really, really notice how, how much my height played a part in it. Cause I'm like, yeah, that is right. I have like a lot more body to get under, under the bar. But for me, it's, it's like the norm. All right. So here's good. the yeah. thing. <laughs> so you say height is not a factor. So it's no. technique all the way. Technique and skill. What yes. can you tell us so that Mercedes can be at least average? <laughs> at least average. <laughs> Well, well, you normally have a pole in front of you. Yes. So the first thing is you go straight up to the pole. Okay. Right? And then you start to bend Ooh. from there. Oh, I'm shaking already. And move. And groove. Ooh, we look good. how do you not hit the but pole? But when you get the moving part is, is where it gets complicated. Okay, so the Because a lot of people will be able to bend down. Uh-huh. But the moving of the feet, yes, that's where yeah, the hips yeah. and the back, and the, that's when that starts to ache. They all need to well, work together. Mm -hmm. Well, this gets is more where complicated. Shamika holds three records, right? Yes. yes. Three Guinness World Records. And this is where Mercedes and I leave it to the experts. <laughs> yes, I hold none. But thank you <laughs> yes. for watching AM Buffalo. Thank yes. you so much, Shamika, for joining us.